yeah, Kitan's had a female world champion. You wouldn't know it, but <laughs> there you go. Yes, Susanna Raganelli, 1966 World Championship in Denmark, and she came out on top driving a Techno Perilla car. So, yeah, um, what drove me to make this video? I think, really, it seems like karting as a sport has almost zero reverence for its past and its history, and it's quite a rich history with significant milestones. Uh, I, I, I. I'm not the most right on sort of person. Um, I am a beardy vegan, I guess. <laughs> I guess I must, you know, have some familiarity with that kind of thinking. But at the same time, it seems like an, a milestone in, in motorsport history that is almost omitted from all of the historical writings on, on, on motorsport and I find this very strange um, particularly now that the FIA have invested and the EU funnily enough invested in a lot of uh, was it FIA girls on track program and it was episode one came out today and um, I, I, I've known about Susie for obviously for quite a long time I wrote about her two just over, over two and a half years ago for my my, my coaching blog um, because it was, I had a similar thought pattern at the time. Um, I couldn't find any reference to Raganelli on any of the FIA material. And I found that quite bizarre because we're talking about encouraging women into motorsport and uh, a lot of money sloshing about with these programmes. They seem to admit the fact that in 1966, and I granted it's a long time ago, but still significant, you know, Jack Brabham was F1 world champion in 1966. So that I, you know, and nobody's uh, forgotten him. And yeah, it, it, I kind of thought, wow, this is interesting. We, we've got a girls on track program, really focusing on kart racing, admitting the fact that karting has had a female world champion. I would have thought that would be something to, to talk about, you know, and the FIA, as far as I can tell, haven't. Um, and, and yeah, I thought I, we're doing a bit of a disservice here. I know, I know, as I said, kart racing is a kind of sport where we don't particularly have much reverence for the history of the sport. Uh, we care more about those that leave the sport than those that actually are successful in it. And yeah, it it just I just thought this is really strange. And obviously, a little bit about Susie um, herself, Italian. She owned an Alfa Stradale 33, so she had taste. I think she was an Alfa dealer. Um, and yeah, it was in Denmark, and, and she, she won. I think Ronnie Peterson, who anybody watching this video is probably familiar with, he came second, I believe. And, um, yeah, significant milestone in, in motorsport history. And, you know, when I wrote about it two years ago, I had the same conclusion as I, as I had now. I think something kind of weird is going on. So I, I went on the FIA website and I searched Susanna Raganelli. Nothing popped up. Uh, I, I, I went on the FIA karting website, Susanna Raganelli. Nothing popped up. I'll have a caveat to that. I did, they did have something on, on the old CIK website. I can't help but feel there was an influence of, of Keys van der Green on that on that website and a bit more kind of historical knowledge within the CIK at that point of view. So yeah, I thought, mm, that's kind of weird. If you Google Susanna Raganelli, my blog comes up, like number two or three. Not Kite, nothing to do with Kite in one. I find that kind of embarrassing. I, I shouldn't be a source of information on, on Susanna. Uh, t Cart's there and, and I think DriverDB and maybe a Wikipedia page. But barely anything. Go on YouTube. Uh, there's the Finnish historical karting. Uh, they've got a video, but I, I don't understand Finnish. I don't know what they're saying. And, a, and, a, and I think a Spanish video with a couple of hundred views, and that's it. And more, more sort of humorously, um, the FIA karting um, published something on their Facebook, uh, an interview with one of the young young female kart racers. And I think in the preamble to it, they went, "Oh, and karting's had a lot of good female drivers, a lot of Helberg, uh, Sophie Kumpfen, blah blah blah." And omitted Raganelli from that. And it's like, wow, okay. <laughs> I'm not accusing there of being something sexist going on. More that what is actually a hugely significant 
moment in history for the sport, especially in the modern context of talking about more getting more women into motorsport. We don't talk about the fact that Kyle's had a female world champion. I'm not sure that's anything to be proud of. Um, there, there were reports of sort of blatant sexism t-shirts uh, worn by one of the teams that says down with Susie and in brackets knickers which is horrific so I don't, I don't think it's particularly proud to say oh Carton's had a female world champion we should be proud of that as such but there's no historical reverence and yes it's, it's kind of like something I find very very odd especially from the perspective of the programmes that we're seeing are emitting this information, you know, FIA, Girls on Track and all that kind of stuff. Well, I thought, oh, this would be, I thought it should be front and centre, is it not? Um, why are we not talking about it? Do they not even know about it? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know much history about uh, Susanna. Um, there's not much information you can find, really. I think there's a few posts on some of the historical karting pages and, and stuff on, on Facebook and without them I wouldn't know about Susanna either uh, unless I was actually I might I think I discovered just looking at the list of world champions I was like oh okay that's quite strange um, so yeah I, I just feel like we have a driver and I think, I, I think the same about Lotta Helberg as well because uh, obviously she won what was it 1996 European Championship round in form of Super at Lenato, which doesn't really get. I mean, that's that's like a World Championship level uh, race anyway. And I think I think these are the kind of people that should be used as sort of inspirational role models. Like I said, I don't I don't, I don't sign up to all the kind of stuff that you hear, um, but still, I still think these are inspirational women. And they're completely, almost completely omitted from all of the material that we read about. And yeah, it, I, again, I mean, this is why I wanted to do the video. It's it's not going to be a long video. I just wanted to have a quick, a quick natter about it, really, um, because I think it's, uh, Susanna Raganelli is a name that I think everybody should know about it. Um, I think I like I, like I always go back to really because karting isn't seen as a sport within itself. Uh, much anymore the historical names kind of fade into history and I kind of think that's kind of a shame and I think we should start talking about them a bit more um, I would love to find a bit more information about Susanna who she was I know I know obviously I know the Alpha Romeo stuff which is cool um, but yeah there's it's you know I, I don't have magazines from 1966 Carter magazines uh, so if you do, please comment. Any stories? Any stories would be good. Um, yeah, yeah. Just I know. I know this video will be quite popular. I guess, and I hope it inspires people just to start talking about not just 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 like Susanna or Lotta, but but sort of the karting karting legends. You know, I mean, like I said, even Terry Fullerton. It's all you, you hear about Terry, but it's it's always in context of Senna, which I kind of think does him a disservice. Um, uh, I, I think I think that's a shame. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you're watching this now, you know. Uh, if you're young, I mean, eh, you don't have to be a female to be inspired. But if you're a young girl, car, you know that you can reach the pinnacle of this sport. Um, we're so obsessed with F1 that I think it's very detrimental. I think we forgetting we're forgetting about the stories of our own sport. And I think if we tell those stories, I think we'll be in a much healthier position for everybody. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Now you know. Now you've got no excuses. I expect after this video there to be a wave of documentaries and articles. There probably won't be. This is how it works. Um, yeah, I mean, it took the FIA what three days to even post about uh, Jeremy on their on their uh, Jeremy, Jeremy's World Championship win this year on their Instagram page. I don't, I don't imagine anything to change too quickly. But um, yeah, yeah. Susanna, you've not been forgotten, don't worry. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.